Anxiety and stress are running high in our community right now. In less than a week, Leander ISD reported over 130 cases in the district, a record high. Spokesperson Corey Ryan says this year, the district can only contract trace for pre-K through six students. Half the kids in the building last year meant that we had more time to do contact tracing for every single student. So assistant principals, principals, coaches, they were calling families after every positive case to notify families of those close contacts. To be transparent with the rest of the grade levels, the district revamped its COVID-19 dashboard. Now, it shows how many students in each school tested positive and their class schedules. It kind of puts the net of students as pretty wide enough that we felt like we could do it um, legally and compliantly. Um, we are stretching the limits. Because the district's COVID-19 dashboard is so specific, one parent said it helped her decide what to do with her immunocompromised eighth grader. It helped confirm, for instance, that one of the children were in the class that was before Blake, the same exact room. Alexis Browder says she made a tough choice this week before the district announced its mask rules. I have now enrolled him into homeschool. Even though there is now a mask mandate, I'm glad we've made the decision because there are loopholes in the mask mandate. That loophole is an opt-out option, which the district says roughly 2,500 students have already chosen. We believe masks will reduce the spread, keep kids in school, keep kids healthy, keep staff healthy, and help keep our community healthy. In Cedar Park, I'm Darenisha Heron.